What's up, guys? I hope you're all well. Chadio here. Today, I'm checking something out I haven't checked out in a long time. I'm checking out a Fred Dibna video. Um, seems like uh, people are starting to find my Fred Dibna reaction videos. I thought, what the heck? I haven't done this one yet, which is how to remove the top of a chimney stack. I'm not a fan of heights, so what this guy does or did <clears throat> is incredible in my book. But uh, let's uh, check out Fred Dibna. How to remove the top of a chimney stack. Spring brought Fred another boon. Mm -hmm. A four and a half thousand pound contract that would keep his family and leave a margin for further work on his engine. Jeez. This particular job is sort of a bit upsetting to me because it's like the last spinning mill in Bolton with a proper chimney. Yeah. You know, and I'm going to wreck it. <laughs> <laughs> right. All that beautiful fancy work around the top. I've got to take all of that off and lower it down to the ground, you see. And this isn't quite as simple as just knocking bricks off top of the chimney. Here, there's, there's no room at all, you know, and I've got to lower it all down in, in buckets, uh, about an hundred weight at once, you see. Jeez. You know, I'd very much like to mend it and make it, you know, glorious again for a, another long period, but... Really, it's redundant. Look at that. Nobody Holy wants crap, it man. Nobody wants it anymore. No and way. And he doesn't because, even have like you know, a safety uh, rope or anything. He's just going straight up that ladder. You know, when I first started climbing chimneys, there were quite a lot of places on coal. I even had the great pleasure of working on one or two where they actually still shoveled it on by hand and all the black foul smoke used to come out. But... That stuff, you know, you just come out at top and all the gutters oh, in the immediate neighborhood. No, thank you. All, nope. all the years later, I said no. rotted away. <laughs> but this blue stuff from the oil makes your cough and splutter worse than capstan full strength. It's a bit like putting your mouth around somebody's exhaust pipe, you know, up there. Like, uh, not very nice. You there? <laughs> Oh my god. Just even climbing that, you gotta you gotta think how strong this man was to be able to just physically climb all the way up there. About climbing chimneys. You know, I were criticized for saying uh, you know, I had a few points before I climbed up. But, you know, <laughs> I had a boy, that's how you do it. Um sort of you wanna try this bloody <laughs> job so but you know. <laughs> I no, I don't even want to try yeah, it, period. If I've had a couple of pints of beer, you know, I, I don't, you know, think I'm King Kong like sort of thing. You know, oh, take it that way a bit easier, you know, and more cautious. The thing is that <laughs> once you've got up that first bloody ladder, you've only got to make one wrong move and you're dead. Yeah. You know, I mean, them boards, oh there's great God. gaps in them, you know. I mean, you could put one foot through a space and not even fall off, but... Smash your bloody leg in two pieces, and then you'd feel a bit of a fool. Mm -hmm. Well, fire brigade's no good because the ladder's not long enough. Somebody would have to come and rescue you with an helicopter, you know, which is a bit of a block, you know. It's kind of embarrassing, that, can't we? Yeah. I was already chipped away some up there, you can see. Holy cow, <laughs> man. There he is. Well, when you've had a point or two and you're stuck up on top of a big factory chimney and, and sort of the calls of nature become imminent, uh, you can either have a go down the middle or over the edge, you know, whereby they think it's raining in the next field. Oh, my God. One instance that comes to mind where we had this bucket full of uh, cement water yep. and kept having a go in this. <laughs> And then at the end of the day, we decided to throw it off, like, you know, pitch it out, like, over the side of the ship, you see. <laughs> There's a bloke at the bottom with a magnificent bright red Alfa Romeo sports car. And when we came down, it was summertime, and, and all these beautiful red motor cars were covered with white cement urinated <laughs> spots. <Jeez. laughs> all over it. There you right, go, into the bucket. Very well in the sun, you see. <laughs> Wow. Just how old school this is. It's like they don't even do it this way anymore. Oh, that's so genius. He 
fills this one bucket and then I pulls up the other. Myself, purely through watching the steeplejacks of like 1940 and 50. Yep. One famous firm from Manchester would arrive and just commandeer a skip out the mill and put four ropes, one on each corner, and like they'd literally pull the damn thing up by hand and put as many bricks in as they thought were sort of necessary and then lower, lower it down, you know. Uh, and then I saw an improvement on that. Two mill on a similar sort of setup that we've got here. But we still got a lower one down. Down, Sort of just let it come down at two mile an hour, which it like two five minutes for the bloody thing to mm -hmm. get from the top to the bottom. And one day it dawned on me that if you had a brake drum on the haulage system somewhere, you could like control the thing yourself. Yep. Mine, the brakes on all the time. And when the can's full of, of bricks, which amounts to about an hundred weight, I just lift up the lever and down and it, it goes. goes and the, the empty and comes up, you see. That is just so genius. Oh my gosh, that is awesome to watch. And then Donald down at the bottom knocks the catch and out come the bricks. And yep. as long as we can keep it going all day long, we're in business. Yep. <laughs> and just how they don't get tangled is remarkable as well. I mean, this is awesome to watch. So satisfying. I'd love to be able to... I'd love to have been able to just stand there and watch this all day. Nice. Something about this is so, so relaxing, you know? watching this. It's like a ballet. Yeah, up here you get sort of rather out ideas of grandeur, you know, you sort of <laughs> looking down on all these humble rows of little houses and yeah. sort of, you know, it makes me glad that, you know, I'm up here and not having to open my front door and go inside this bloody place, you know, instead of uh, being free like a bird. <coughs> Like, I often think that, you know, my sort of lot to our life is, you know, it's, it's more exciting and varied than most people's, you know, they, they mm -hmm. never, you know, sort of have a, anything exciting, you know, unless they're having a bloody strike or something, you know, sort of, like, uh, steeplejacking, that's one thing that, you know, that appealed to me because I think, basically, I'm lazy, you know, like, <laughs> sort of a job where, some days when it rains, I'm quite happy because I can go home and do something on my engine, you see. Yeah. Whereas if I were tied to a machine in a factory or an office, I, you know, I, you'd be, you know, like watching the bloody clock all day. People say, are you not bored knocking all them bricks off? And, well, the answer is, like, no, really, because the job's so reasonably simple that... You, you can sort of carry on doing it and you've, you've part of your mind's conscious for the safety part of it and the, the other part you can let wander away to more pleasant things you right. know, like men yep. and steam engines uh-huh wow yeah see i like that i missed doing fred didn't i, I enjoyed that very very much i hope you guys enjoyed it too um i'll keep looking for more stuff of fred didn't to react to like i said that was just so relaxing to watch, just the buckets going up and down and listening to him chisel away. I wish I was able to experience that myself in person to be able to watch this, even when it just drops. 
uh, the old chimneys. That just seemed like something so cool to be able to witness in person. But unfortunately, it's not really how a lot of people do it anymore. They usually just use cranes and, you know, dynamite and stuff. So it's not as enjoyable to watch as it used to be. But with that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe. And don't forget to wash your hands. Bye.